An old bathhouse of the Songsan Tobacco Factory has been converted into a library uh, by a professional design team. It's a far cry from the public bathhouse used by female factory employees in the mid-20th century. Let's take a look. This public bathhouse was built in 1937, and now it's been transformed into the library. There are about 20,000 design books. As you enter the library, there's a small ramp that visitors can walk up into an area called the book bath. Here, readers can pick a book and then step down into the bathtub and read. The book bath retains part of the original 1937 interior design. Meanwhile, visitors are surrounded by books, symbolizing immersion in knowledge. Uh, as you can see from the, uh, from, from the site, uh, it's surrounded by uh, over two, 20 thousand of design books. This bathhouse, located in the old Songsan Tobacco Factory, was originally built for female tobacco workers. It's been revamped into a library by a professional design team. The new space is managed by the Taiwan Design Research Institute and designed by landscape designer Wu Shuren of JC Architecture. The renovated library is divided into three sections, book bath, bathhouse, and outdoor garden. Bathhouse maintains interior details from the Japanese colonial period, such as a semicircular bathtub, the floors, windows, and roof. We preserved all the histor historical architecture and the window and used the new design to uh, co combine with the his historical building. Patrons can also head out to the garden. This outdoor garden was originally the patio of the old bathhouse, but now it has become a relaxing outdoor reading area. For the garden, we cannot use any uh, machine. So for the constructor and the worker, they have to dig the ground by hand. So it's really uh, handmade. The building and also the, the garden uh, wasn't open uh, for 81 uh, 81 years old. The design team plans to use the space to hold exhibitions and workshops. They hope to provide a space for people to bathe in knowledge and explore the history of Taiwan's tobacco industry. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Huang Pinghan in Taipei.